If you're a fan of Japanese RPGs, you have an awesome lineup of games to be looking forward to, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 upcoming JRPGs in 2017 and beyond. Let's get right into this. Number 10, Valkyria Revolution. Valkyria Revolution is the latest game in the Valkyria series with Valkyria Chronicles, however, this is considered a separate from the previous games. The gameplay is very different from Valkyria Chronicles' strategy gameplay, it has similar elements but is more focused on action. The game does stray away from Chronicles and some may be disappointed by that, but hopefully Valkyria Valkyria Revolution can stand as its own quality JRPG. The game comes to PS4, Xbox One, and PS Vita sometime this year. Number 9, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age Final Fantasy XII was one of the more controversial Final Fantasy games. Some people loved it, others not so much. Personally, I loved the game, it had a ton of content, the story was good, and the gameplay was a nice change of pace for the series. Sure, the main character was very inconsequential, but for the most part, the game had a lot of quality elements. Now it's coming to the PlayStation 4 in the form of Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. It's got your typical HD remastering with better visuals and better performance. It's also got a newly recorded soundtrack, the Zodiac Job System, and trophies. Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age releases sometime this year exclusively for PS4. Number 8, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 Remix. Kingdom Hearts collections and compilations have become a norm in gaming, and here is another one, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. The collection compiles the previous two collections that were released on the PS3 and Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, so you're getting a ton of content for your money, even if it's content you may have played once or twice before. You get Kingdom Hearts Final Mix and Ray Chain of Memories, the cinematics of 358 over two days, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Birth by Sleep Final Mix, and a cinematic remake of Kingdom Hearts Ray Coded. If you've somehow never played Kingdom Hearts, this collection will be a fantastic way to do so. It releases on March 28th for the PS4. Number 7, Dragon Quest XI. Dragon Quest is finally back with a traditional entry in the franchise. The gameplay will be similar to past games where you explore various worlds and battle in turn-based combat, which while at this point to some will seem dated, it's nice to see a traditional turn-based JRPG. The game will also be released on the PS4, 3DS, and the Switch. The PS4 version features HD graphics running on the Unreal Engine 4. The 3DS version is a different style showing 3D graphics on the top screen and 16-bit graphics on the bottom. How the Switch version will turn out, who knows. The game is currently set for a release this year in Japan. A release stateside is still up in the air, but you have to imagine it'll be coming at some point. Number 6, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Xenoblade Chronicles was one of the best games on the Nintendo Wii, then we had Xenoblade Chronicles X, which was one of the best games on the Wii U, and now we have Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which serves as a sequel to the first game. Monolith Soft has proven themselves as top-tier developers, and this will be one of the system sellers on the Nintendo Switch. And while the game is a sequel, you start the game as a brand new character, so you'll be able to jump right in. The only possible gripe gamers may have is the new art style. It's more anime and chibi styled, I'm not a fan of it, but hopefully the game's quality outweighs that. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is set for a release in 2017 exclusively to the Nintendo Switch. Number 5, Ni no Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. While Level 5 isn't one of the iconic studios in the gaming world, they have an amazing track record of RPGs. Dark Cloud, Rogue Galaxy, and of course, Ni no Kuni, and now they're working on Ni no Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. While not much is known about the game, the first trailer did set a promising tone for it. The story follows a king who is usurped from his castle and sets out on an adventure to reclaim his kingdom. You still have the amazing Studio Ghibli art style, and the little gameplay we've seen thus far has looked promising. The game releases this year for PS4 at just announced, on PC as well. What do you think you're doing? You'll take my little darlings with you, of course. Kneel before the king of Ding Dong Down.
Number 4, Nier Automata. Nier Automata is a follow-up to the niche JRPG released last generation, Nier. The game was very underrated, it wasn't perfect, the gameplay was lacking, however the story was excellent and it featured some great music. This entry is being developed by Platinum Games, so the issue of lacking gameplay will definitely be remedied, it's now a fast-paced, high-octane action RPG, the great music is retained. Let's just hope this story holds up because Platinum isn't really known for that. A demo for the game is already available on the PlayStation Store, so check that out if you haven't. And the final product will be released on March 7th for PS4, and a PC version is on the way too, however, an exact date for that has not been confirmed. Number 3, Kingdom Hearts 3. While we're getting a lot of Kingdom Hearts collections, the game that we really want is Kingdom Hearts 3. We've been waiting since the release of Kingdom Hearts 2, and in 2013, the game was finally announced. The gameplay we've seen thus far has looked outstanding, and seeing Kingdom Hearts running on a newer console is awesome. It looks like the game's release is still a ways away. Director Tetsuya Nomura mentioned that the game still has work to be done. I don't foresee a 2017 release, but hopefully by the end of 2018, we can finally get our hands on the game. It releases for PS4 and Xbox One. Number 2, Final Fantasy VII Remake. One long-awaited Square Enix JRPG to another, gamers have wanted a remake to Final Fantasy VII ever since 2005 when a tech demo was shown of how the game could look running on the PS3. Year after year, we've wanted an announcement and we got none, until 2015 at E3 was finally announced that Final Fantasy VII would be remade on the PlayStation 4. Then we saw gameplay and that blew us away. We haven't seen new content for the remake in a while, we should be seeing more this year. Once again, I don't see this game releasing in 2017, but with the game being episodic, maybe it can find its way out by the end of the year. More likely than not, it'll be a 2018 release. We do know that the game comes first to the PlayStation 4, and then presumably it'll hit other platforms. <laughs> Finally, number one, Persona 5. Persona has been one of the great JRPG franchises for over 20 years. However, for a long time, it didn't get the recognition it deserved. Recently, though, it seems like the popularity around Persona has been increasing, which is funny since we haven't seen a brand new entry in the franchise for eight years. That's changing with the release of Persona 5, which will follow a similar premise to the previous games. You play as a transfer high school student along with his group of friends as they awaken their Persona powers. Part of the game is a dungeon-crawling JRPG, and it does that really well. And the other part has living the day-to-day -day life of a high school student, socializing, going to class, etc. It sounds kind of odd at first, but Persona blends these two styles of gameplay really well, and it keeps the game engaging and not repetitive at all times, and considering these games can go for as long as 100 hours, you definitely don't want it to get repetitive. Persona 5 has already been released in Japan, and it got very positive reviews. Everyone else will finally be able to play it on April 4th when it releases for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. <laughs> Tenkou-sei
So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 upcoming JRPGs in 2017 and beyond. What do you think? Which JRPGs are you the most excited for? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.